So this sets up this this entire situation for you. You have the Nine of Swords, the Ten of Cups, and the Hermit. So this is about um, you, Leo's thinking about a relationship that you you don't want to start back up again because you you and this person just didn't really see eye to eye. The Ten of Cups. The feeling, you know, you really wanted to get out of this relationship very badly. Um, they didn't they didn't want to leave because they didn't want to see themselves as the villain of the story, the bad guy. But the hermit represents they are just asleep. They are just caught up in a cave, into playing the BS, into playing the games. They're caught up in the illusion, in, in the illusion, right? They're caught up in the shadows that are being casted on the wall, and they think that those shadows are real, right? Is the real world. And the Nine of Swords, you know, you just feel like you're tired of talking to these people. So it's probably somebody, honestly, that you were trying to get to know, and you felt like recently, and you, Leos, felt like it was like trying to pull teeth. These people were very hard headed, very hard to deal with and they just didn't want to listen to anything that you had to say because they were probably so interested in just playing games and this is recent that we're talking about so so you leos was like nah, you, you leos was like nah you got to get out of here so that's what you did you stopped talking to them maybe you told some of these people that you didn't want to have anything to do with them or maybe you just left right simply like that but Either way, this person is not chasing up after you. And we're going to get into it because you have the Six of uh, Wands and the Page of Cups. So these two cards right here, if you, Leos, were thinking that they would ever try, if they would ever try to come back to you, give this relationship a, a second chance, there's no way it's going to happen. And the reason, as, as of right now, and the reason why is because they're too delusional. That the page of cups is them being too delusional. They're too delusional because they're still, you know, they 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 have this delusion. You know, I've seen plenty of people act like this out in the streets. Interpersonal relationships. They they want they just <laughs> they they're just so bent on trying to get people to feel like you gotta chase after me. It's like I ain't gotta do a thing. You know, and even if you were to try, even if the two of you were to talk again, they would still be on that. Maybe some of you Leos did try to talk to them, give them a, a one last chance, you know, didn't speak to them for a couple of days or for a little bit, right? About a week. And then you try to hit them back up again. Hey, how you doing? And they're still acting like you have to chase up after them so now your hands you're you've washed your hands with it a hundred percent a lot of you leos are like look all it is that you need to do now is to get, perfect that walk away game and it's done because you gave them as many chances as you possibly could they're just so caught up with trying to act like they are a boss right huh. that it just makes things difficult for you to in, it, to interact with them because they, they, they're they putting on this front of, well, you have to come to me and do this and do that. And people overplay that way too much. It's way too much. It's way too much overplaying that. People don't understand that. Yeah, but you can do that at the beginning, but you have to show your stuff. Constantly trying to breadcrumb the person and, you know, I'm just giving you a little bit and put the breadcrumbs at a certain distance you know what i'm saying but it doesn't really actually lead anywhere but to but to your doom that's played out right so now now that you leos have a better understanding that you want nothing to do with these people after you spent some time trying to talk to them the seven of pentacles here is is that here they are being quite delusional seven of, I, seven of pentacles <laughs> They're being quite delusional because they're, they're, what they're thinking is you Leos are not what they're looking for. You Leos are not good enough. They're looking for, you know, they're getting into the hype of, they're, they're looking for a perfect person, a person that has 
a nice hip to butt ratio, right? Uh, nice chest, uh, perfect face, uh, long hair, you know, a person that's six foot, right? Six inches, you know, all this other <laughs> nonsense. Uh, six pack abs, you know, six figures, you know, you know, the devil chat, you know, all this other type of stuff. But, but again, this is what I'm talking about. They're really delusional. They're really, they're weirdos. So they're not really going to get anything real. You know, they, they just in love. They, they are going to be perpetually single because they're just all so up in love with these individuals that are so caught up with, you know, so caught up with like, um, uh, what do I say? Uh, how do you say it? Um, like the fantasy of it, right? Right, the fantasy. I, I ain't even gonna say fantasy. I'll say the delusion of it, right? The illusion of it. They they think that no matter how good the partner they get, they could always one up the other person, one up the other partner and monkey branch to the next person. Either Either person, either way. And the tower represents, the tower represents in the Eight of Cups is kind of like a one-two punch, right? Metaphorically speaking. It's kind of like they're going to get their just desserts. So all it is that you need to do is stand back and just live your life. And, and to break it down individually, they have the tower. They have no idea that they're going to be alone because people who have, who have that type of picky nature are often not happy with anything because... That's the trick. That's the catch-22. The idea that they are constantly being combative to, to the people around them that, pre that present themselves. Like, hey, listen, and no matter how great the person is, it's always like, you know, it's, it's, it's always like, you, you know, I need to be able to put you up on a pedestal. But what's going to happen when, the per when, the, when they do find a person that is all of these things that they say that they want, if and when, right? They're going to idolize that person and they're going to completely let go of themselves. They're not going to be able to actually get these people who are on that pedestalized, idealized level that they are putting somebody on, even if they were to find someone like that. Because there's not that many people like that on earth. But even if they were to find somebody like that, they would completely wet the bed. They would wet the bed because because on two on multiple folds, they would wet the bed, Leo. And the reason why it is and I'm saying that is because on one fold, they would wet the bed because they're not built to actually have somebody that is all of those things. They are essentially trying to price themselves out because it's like, okay, well, I, you know, I, I, I want to see what's the maximum of what it is that I can get. That's how they're thinking. But then when they actually get it, it's like, it's, it's, it's an entirely different world. It, it's almost like, it's almost like a, it's almost like heaven compared to the earth. It's like, it's like, how does a person that is on the earth comprehend the wonders of heaven, right? It's 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 otherworldly. It's like they can't. They can only perceive it through their human brain. And and that it's so sublime and so blissful, it would drive those people crazy. So literally, when people who have that kind of pedestalized ideology of what it is that they're looking for, when they find that type of person, if and when because normally they don't even get into those type of circles. But if they do get into those circles and then they do get a chance to actually interact with some of these people, right, on both sides, a lot of those people wet the bed. And even if they do get themselves caught up with them, right, where they're now with each other, right, and the person decides to, okay, I'm gonna go ahead, they're gonna go ahead and give them a try, they end up self-sabotaging it with trying to one up and compete for the other person like this is a basketball game and box out and i'm trying play ball you know what i'm saying like 
they're doing this. And then the other person is like, yeah, this is weird. Like I, like I thought you liked me. And this is the, the conundrum. So this, the eight of cups, you Leos don't have to be a part of any of that. You Leos can dip out. You Leos don't have to be a part of that because they're ruining themselves with this stupid, with this stupidness. <laughs> you know, so that's so now the two of wands and the devil, excuse me, two of pentacles and the devil. Don't go back to them. Don't go back to them. Don't ever go back to them. Even if they try to contact you, don't go back to them because there's there's some of you Leos may be like, should you give them just one more chance? No, don't go back to them. They're too delusional. They're too dysfunctional. They're too stupid to ever come back down to reality. The best thing for you to the best thing for you to do is to stay away from them and let them crash and burn. The world the the world and how the world turns and works is going to kick their butt for them. You do not need to do a thing. So let's let's clarify the the devil. <coughs> King of Cups, the Fool, Queen of Wands, the Death card. Right. The King of Cups and the Fool, it, it would just make you even more stressed out if you tried to give them another try. Do not go back to them. The Queen the Queen of Wands, the Death card. You Leos have to understand the relationship is over. They're, they're going to continue to play the same game. They're going to continue to act like they're too proud to be with you because they're trying to they're trying to max themselves out. You know those types of people that are like I'm going for broke. So I'm a, I'm going to ask for every single detail that I possibly could and more than likely I'm not going to get it, but I'm asking. You know it's like Dr. Evil. I want 1 million dollars and people are like that's it. 10 million dollars. They laughing and they go a hundred million dollars. It's either a hundred million or a hundred billion dollars. And then people go, oh, right? Because it's like, it's like, it's like they're maxing themselves out. Like, okay, I might as well just go for broke. I might as well just do this. Right? But what would happen if they were to get it? To get it? <laughs> they would completely wet the bed. So you Leos dodged one. You Leos <laughs> dodged an insane, a crazy a possessive a control freak that would have done nothing to you but squandered your life that's pretty much it comment on the video like the video subscribe to the youtube channel share the video smash the subscribe button smash that like button hit the notification bell set that notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever i drop my videos